Hi, this is Giorgio Fernandez with Celebrity Wire on this edition of Makeup and Style. And today we're going Lady Gaga. First right now is kind of just, it's how I like to start all of my makeup, is I'm using the, I'm using an eyeshadow base. It's actually a concealer. It's, it's the Lady Lash by Giorgio Fernandez concealer. Um, but it's good to use as an eyeshadow base. The purpose of using an eyeshadow base when we're using vibrant colors or we really want a color that's going to pop we use the base for it it's almost like a, a second layer of skin kind of evens out the skin tone on the eyelid as well so what I'm doing now is just concealing. Concealers are good because they even out the skin. <clears throat> Some like to use an eyeshadow base. I actually like to use a concealer on the eyelid as the eyeshadow base. And the concealer I'm using is actually the Lady Lash Concealer. We can go right on into the eyeshadows. Now today, obviously on this segment, we're working on, on trying to achieve the Lady Gaga look. Um, now, if you notice, with Lady Gaga, um, she likes a smoky eye, and it's always about the lashes or something very dramatic. She has, she has a, a, a very clean, polished, fierce uh, skin, um, but it's all about the eyes with Gaga. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing now is, I've already added my eyeshadow base to the lid, so now we're going with a nice light color, just to kind of go over that. And there's, there's really no science behind this, or it's just slapping the color right on the eyelids with darker colors. Now, <clears throat> the Gaga that I'm going for today is actually uh, the one that you see a lot of. You know, she, she really likes the dark, dark, smoky eye, but she always accents it with, uh, with a really cool, funky set of eyelashes. So, and red's my favorite color, so I decided to go with these with, with, with these lashes. So now the first thing I'm going to do is actually start going with that dark charcoal. This color. It's quite simple. You just take the eyeshadow and go right in the crease with it. Now you know. A lot of people stress out about trying to achieve that perfect smoky eye, whether it's you're trying to achieve Gaga, you're trying to achieve, you know, or just a regular smoky eye. And it's really not that big of a deal. Here, you feel your brow bone right underneath your brow. That's where you want to put the shadows. You don't even need a brush to be honest with you, because you can fail. See? You just feel that brow bone. Just like that, and just follow it all the way around. Now this comes in handy if you're in the car or you're in a rush, you don't have a good set of uh, makeup brushes. See that kind of just falls right into place, a little dark around the lid. Give it more of a smoky. Now, again, I really like using my fingers. Um, I mean, brushes are great, don't get me wrong, but you know, with fingers, you can really manipulate that product. So now, what we want to do is kind of just brush away the excess from the shadows falling down. Like so. Also, you want it very clean. It's all about you know, kind of when it comes to, to real artistic type makeup or real smoky eyes. The difference between a good smoky eye or a good dramatic look and a bad dramatic look literally is the paying attention to detail, is the cleanliness, the, the polished, you know, uh, the, 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 the polished aspect of you know the end of the end result. 